number 16, Woman 3 by William de Cooding, which was bought by 137.5 millions of dollars. This one was painted by expressionist de Kooning in the beginning of the 1950s, and it was bought by 137 millions in 2006. Before this date, it used to be exposed. It was on display on the Contemporary Art Museum in Tehran, on Iran, but it was understood to be controversial, shocking, and even offensive. Therefore, it was taken out of public display and eventually it was bought by, fi by financier billionaire Stephen Cohen for his private collection. Remember this Stephen Cohen guy, his name will reappear on this list. Number 15, it is number five by Jackson Pollock, my beloved Jackson Pollock. It was done in 1948 and it was sold by 140 millions of dollars. And this, this work has a very peculiar and interesting story. This one, which was sold by 140 million dollars, this is not the one, this is not the original one, but it's complicated because by original, I'm not, what I'm not saying that the one that was sold was a copy or that it was done after the original one. The story is a bit more complicated. The original work had been sold by Pollock himself for his friend, a fellow artist of also Osorio, for only $1,500. But the thing is, in between Pollock completing the work and it being transferred to Osorio's house, it, so it suffered some sort of damage and then it was sent back to Pollock for him to fix it, which he did. He fixed it and he believed that Osorio wouldn't notice that he had reworked part of it, that he had done some work over the original damage. The work was then sent back to Osorio's house and he didn't notice that, that Pollock had fixed it, that Pollock had worked over the original work. And he decided to send it back to Pollock so that he could redo it completely, which he did. Pollock then took the work back and he started from scratch. He redid it completely and then he finally sent it back to Osorio who loved it even more than he had loved the original work which he had first bought. He loved it so much that he called it a masterpiece in control and vision. Osorio eventually would say that this work, the second version of this, the work which he eventually kept for himself, was a wonderful example of an artist having a second chance. Number 14, Three Studies of Lucian Freud by Francis Bacon, which was bought by 142.2 millions of dollars. Francis Bacon here painted his friend and rival Lucian Freud. Those three works were bought by Elaine Wine for 142.2 millions of dollars, which made it the most expensive painting ever sold in an auction until 2003 it has been this this is no longer sold for a while now number th number 13 portrait of adele black bauer number two by clint this is the second portrait of the same woman we were talking about previously the woman in goat this is the second portrait this one was sold by 150 millions of dollars in 2016. This both both portraits of Adele Bauer were stolen by the Nazis. Uh, Adele Bauer and her husband were both Jewish, and as many other Jewish couples and families, they had their they had their belongings and their possessions stolen by the Nazis. Unfortunately, it happened to many Jewish families, and so it happened to them, and everything they had was stolen, including both these paintings by Clint. Eventually, they were recaptured and they were donated to the Belvedere Gallery in, in Vienna, Austria. Eventually, at some point in time, her family got the paintings back. They got the possession of the paintings back to them, and they sold it. They sold this one, the second one, to none other than Oprah Winfrey. Yes, Oprah herself bought this painting and she kept it with her for a while until she eventually sold to an unknown Chinese buyer. The value we were just talking about refers to this 
this uh, negotiation between Oprah and the, the Chinese buyer. Once again, Oprah did a good job, but we know that Oprah is good with money, isn't she?